Hello everyone, my name is Carmen Beach and today I'm here to talk to you about permaculture and permaculture techniques and why it benefits you and the people around us. If we throw Mother Nature out the window, she will come back at us with a pitchfork. That is a famous quote by a farmer, a Japanese farmer and philosopher named Masanobu Fukuoka. He's also the author of The One Straw Revolution, an intro to natural farming. Today we live in a culture and in a society to where the food that we eat on a daily basis, most of us don't even know where it came from, how much time and energy it took to get it to our plate, or the cost associated with getting it there. <clears throat> I feel that I'm qualified to talk to you or to tell you about implementing permaculture techniques into your daily lives because I've been researching this, uh, this subject for almost a year. And with the help of a man named Jack Spirico from the survivalpodcast.com, it has been a very enlightening and enjoyable experience, experience along the way. <clears throat> Today I'm going to tell you why permaculture is a practice that you should implement in your daily lives and, uh, and also the world around you. Permaculture is thousands of years old. Most everyone does permaculture on a daily basis and don't even realize it. I'm going to tell you what permaculture is, how it benefits you, and why permaculture and its principles uh, can help you. Permaculture is a practical method of developing harmonious, efficient, and productive systems that can be used by anyone, anywhere. The word permaculture is uh, two words that uh, are combined into one, permaculture, or permanent, and agriculture. This term was coined by two men, David Holmgren and Bill Mollison from Australia. Imagine if you would now, a city park. Most every city park that we have around us, it's full of uh, playground, it has tr ornamental trees and shrubs, and ornamental flowers and pots and containers and so forth. Now imagine if you would the same exact city park, and instead of having ornamental trees and shrubs that produce no fruit, no nuts, flowers that produce no herbs or no vegetables, and a garden or a, a blanket mulch site or a mulch site around trees that uh, produces plenty of vegetables. We can uh, take all of these, uh, this area, and implement permaculture into the, into the area using blanket mulch techniques, which creates a, a huge biodiversity around the trees fruit trees and nut trees, and then in those blanket mulch sites, we take and plant vegetables in there, and in uh, container pots and plant or pots and uh, containers and such, we plant herbs in there. All of this can go to benefit food shelter or food uh, pantries, the needy, the hungry, and the, co and the costs associated with delivering this type of stuff to uh, the, the people who need it most. It offsets everything and benefits everyone, including the taxpayers. These ideas are what permaculture is and the techniques uh, that it embraces. These practices benefit uh, our community. These practices also benefit, or I'm sorry, are also what permaculture embraces, and so should you, because it is very helpful for everything uh, around us. Now that I've explained to you what permaculture is, now let me, let me tell you how to implement it in your daily life. There are 12 principles to permaculture. These principles can be found at permaculture, uh, permacultureprinciples.com. In nature, everything works together. So why shouldn't we apply this back in our daily lives and in, and in planning and, and in our planning techniques? Companion planting is a widely used permaculture technique. It teaches us to plant plants that benefit each other. In other words, if you take marigold and anise and plant it in your garden, it will detract uh, harmful bugs the, that could attack your vegetables, causing a loss of crop, a loss of time, and a loss of energy. This is a, 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 a technique that permaculture embraces. Zone planting is another uh, permaculture practice. Each zone benefits the plants that are in it. Zone one benefits the plants that are in zone one. Zone two benefits the plants that are in zone two, three, and four, and so forth. Zone planning can be found when keyword searching the word permaculture under wikipedia.com. Zone planting is, an, is organized companion planting. Take a seed thrown haphazardly to the ground, it may not survive. Take that same seed, 
planted into a permaculture uh, 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 garden, a, a garden that was used, uh, that you use permaculture techniques in, and the chances of that seed coming to bear forth wonderful fruit and organic fruit is much better. When permaculture techniques are applied to agriculture in everyday life, things work much better together. In conclusion, let, remi let me remind you that everything in life needs help. We can benefit greatly by implementing permaculture techniques and practices in our daily lives. <clears throat> Most people do it already and don't even know. As I said before, I myself have. I've explained to you what permaculture is, how it benefits everyone, and how it helps you. I've been researching permaculture for almost a year, <clears throat> and I've been applying these principles, as I said, without even knowing it. Next time you see a garden, ask yourself if permaculture techniques could have possibly been used to design that garden. Maybe even consider putting together some seed balls, going into your city park or down your city street and where there can, there's some containers at, dropping a few of those seed balls in the planter and see what happens. That's a Nobu Fukuoka has.